Hello. Well, there's still lots of news to dominate the headlines in the global markets these days. On the one hand, we've got slow economies in Europe and China. On the other, we're seeing some very strong runs in the Hong Kong market. What are we to make of it? Let's talk to trainer and trader Daniel Lowe. Thanks for coming Hi, in、Mark. today for Singapore Investment Week. So,、yes. what sort of、uh, what should we make of all these these conflicting signals that we're getting? That on the one hand, you know, some economies are still struggling.、Mm-hmm. U.S. seems to be recovering. Other markets are just going and running away. Yeah,、uh, it's a very different situation now.、Uh, U.S. is currently in a major bull run.、Uh, the economy is getting better, but the thing is,、uh, all the other major economy are, are are not faring very well. In fact,、uh, China is not well.、Uh, Japan as well as Europe, they are still in a situation whereby they are printing money. They are still lowering down their interest rate. Where else? U.S. is now discussing about rising interest rate. Uh, that's why I do think that the bull market will still carry on. Okay, most likely、uh, for the next two years is because there's a major liquidity、uh, issue that's、uh, ongoing. Okay, they're well, still having QE. That, that's the irony that this quantitative easing, this QE, means so much more money is coming into the economy. It's got、yes. to find, it's got to find a home somewhere, and often it finds its way into the stock market. What are the、that's、implications、correct. of that for Singapore investors? Okay, I do think that、uh, if there's、uh, any correction in the next few months, which I foresee,、uh, because、uh, China is every day is running like crazy, so I do think that there might be a bit of correction. But in each and every correction, I do think there's opportunity. So I do think that this bull run will still survive; it will still carry on. So I think it's a good time for us to do a bit of homework. If there's any downturn. Uh, we do think that、uh, it's a good chance to enter the market.、Hmm. Yeah. But still, bull runs also have different characteristics, aren't they? On the one hand, there's there's the bull run that usually starts just like two thousand and three. You know, starts just as things looked gloomiest. Do you remember those days? Yes. We had SARS. We had the war in yeah, Iraq. I mean, in, in those days, nobody was thinking of a bull run. Yet that's when it started.、Um, but then, further along, as we got closer to two thousand and seven, there was a Bit of an exhaustion of the bull run. So here we are now in 2015. Where are we at? Are we at the beginning or at the middle or the end of this bull run? Yes. The thing is, I do classify bull run as、uh, three phases.、Uh, let me explain. Okay.、Uh, in fact,、uh, let's look at, for example, Japanese、uh, Nikkei index.、Mm-hmm. In 2013, it started its bull run. Then、uh, it, it keeps on running up from 8,000 point to 16,000 point. And we can、This、see is, that on the chart,、yes. just as you're talking. You've circled that there in that in that、Correct. first box. Yeah. So what、uh, what drove that first phase of the bull run? Correct.、Uh, normally, the first phase of bull run start with the government trying to inject a lot of funds, inject a lot of confidence into the market. They may print money, they may lower down the interest rate, which is what exactly in 2013 the Japanese government is trying to do. And now, currently,、uh, of course,、uh, from two zero one four, Shanghai Composite has gone into a bull run. They、mm-hmm. also started with the first phase of bull run. From the stock market, you can see that it went from two thousand point to now currently four thousand three hundred in a short few months.、Mm-hmm. Why is it so? Because of the liquidity that's pumped in,、uh, the money that's printed, the lowering of the interest rate. So I do think that、uh, one sure formula of a bear market going into a bull market is when there's liquidity. And the interest rate remains low, and、mm. that's what Shanghai Composite is doing now. But having said that, I do foresee that Shanghai Composite in, within the next few months is going to go into what we call the second phase of bull market. And here we've got the chart again yes, from Tokyo,、right. where this happened a few years ago. Again, talk us through that、um, rectangular box there in the middle of the chart. Correct.、Uh, let me explain the first phase of bull run. Normally, what happened is that there's no fundamental needed to push up a stock price. Uh, normally,、uh, analysts don't study the fundamentals.、Uh, the thing is, it's all because of speculation. But during the second phase of bull run, and normally it starts after one year since the first phase start. Okay, normally the second phase start one year after, and that is when analysts will so-called scrutinize each of the earnings report, see how the company is doing. If it's not doing well, it's going to push down the stock. And the thing is, they also scrutinize how the economic report situation is. If if it's bad. Uh, that's when the second phase of bull market will start, and that's when the consolidation might be long.、Mm. And I foresee that most likely for Shanghai Composite within the next few months, we shall see that it enter into what we call second phase of bull run.、Mm. And looking at the、uh, Tokyo, the Nikkei two two five chart, I mean that seems to indicate that this second phase is actually quite long. Yes, isn't it? And in this case, it was what、uh, almost two、Around、years. Two years.、Uh, the thing is, we have did a, a, a lot of surveys. Uh, and also a lot of analysis in past history,、uh, historical bull run, and we found out that 
Uh, second phase of bull run normally will last between nine months to around two years period. And this is the period whereby uh, the companies need to show good earnings uh, uh, to, to, to maintain their, their, their stock run. Okay, okay and then uh, and then again, we're, we're looking at your Nikkei 225 chart here because obviously Shanghai isn't, uh, yes. isn't there yet in that second phase. Correct. But what then happens to get from that second phase into, I suppose, that third phase that we are now in, in on the Nikkei 225? Correct. Uh, there are two things that need to happen. The companies need to show consistent growth in their earnings. Uh, that's when they get out of the uh, uh, so-called the, the economic turmoil. And number two, the economic reports need to show uh, better so-called results compared to what the market thinks. And that's when normally a stock market goes into what we call the third phase of bull market. In the third phase of bull market, we are discussing about the rise of interest rate. Uh, we are discussing about the inflation uh, uh, that, that's going to kick in. And it will lead to what we call hyperinflation. So the bull market always go from one cycle, one phase to another. Hmm. Yeah. It's a little bit like relationships, isn't it? First yes. you fall in love. Then there's that period where you question everything, and after that you kind of reach a maturing stage when you kind of um, move ahead. Correct, Mark. The thing is, uh, sometimes it amazes me that within a six years bull market, a lot of investors cannot make money. And the thing is, uh, we have done a lot of research on it. We found that it's because they don't understand there are different phases in the bull market, whereby they need to employ different techniques, different strategies to invest in the right kind of stocks. As an example, in the second phase of bull market, normally uh, we cannot uh, so-called pay attention to the aggressive sectors. We need to pay attention to the defensive sectors. And that's when the REITs, uh, for example, the telecommunications or the utility industry, normally they will start to run. And if you can recollect, uh, go reach a high point at around 2011. And that's where US is in the second phase of bull market. So that's when a lot of people might channel a lot of funds a lot of hedge fund managers might channel, channel a lot of funds into the defensive sectors. Mm. Yes. By the way, do you also know when the third phase is over and we head into a bear market? Yeah, uh, that's when normally when hyperinflation kicks in, uh, 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 the, the market is already hyped up and that's when interest rate rise to a certain point. The thing is, uh, if interest rate is still low, I don't foresee there's a liquidity crunch. But once interest rate rise to a certain point, and that's when the bubble will burst. Hmm. Yeah, that always happens. And of course, we know we're near that because interest rates haven't really started rising just yes, yet. But correct. how's the Singapore market doing? So we've talked about the Nikkei 225 and the Shanghai Composite. What okay. about our local market? Yeah, uh, there's good and bad. Uh, the thing is, uh, Singapore is now in the third phase of bull market, really. Yeah, but the thing is, I do foresee that this bull market will still carry on for at least one to two years. Uh, it will depend on how fast the interest rate rise. If the interest rate doesn't rise very fast, uh, slowly uh, uh, accumulating, I don't foresee that there's a bear market coming. So I do think that next year, I look forward to uh, Singapore uh, about to reach the all-time high figure, which is 3,900 points. All right, we will yes. hold you to it, Daniel, and get you to come back for next year's Singapore Thank Investment you. Week. Yeah. Look at the website that's on your screen now for more information when you can hear from Daniel Lowe and others like him. See you during Singapore Investment Week.